guys so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys the things that i got thrifting it's actually been a few days since i actually went thrifting and took you guys with me i went on a sunday and quickly found out that that's the day to go to goodwill and i'm low-key regretting not doing that color tag challenge on sunday because sunday just seemed to be the most fruitful day as far as the color tags and i'm pretty sure that most of it if not everything i got was actually half off so that's super awesome and yeah i'm just gonna jump right in and show you guys what i got i think i got like 10 or 11 pieces somewhere in that range and the first one is this t-shirt which i just thought was amazing and it was only like two bucks so i figured why not it has this picture of this cat on it and it says the hustle is real and i just thought it was incredible and that somebody needed this i sell a lot of like novelty cat dog stuff so i figured for two bucks you know that's probably an easy twenty dollar flip then i was very excited about these next three pieces they were right next to each other and i'm definitely keeping one of them i think i'm going to show you guys the one that i'm keeping first but i found three t-shirts that are by the mountain which is a very popular t-shirt brand. They're known for their big graphics, especially like their animal graphics. These aren't animals, they are actually fairies. And this is the one I'm actually keeping. I love it. I think it's so beautiful and it's definitely my style if you couldn't tell wearing oversized t-shirts 24 seven with leggings. So I love that piece. And then these other two I'm going to sell and this one is also so beautiful i am a total fantasy nerd like if you guys didn't know which i don't think i've really talked about it is i actually wrote a novel um and it was a fantasy novel i'm obsessed with novels and fantasy and writing in general so that was actually going to be my original career path was being a writer and then i found reselling and i love reselling so definitely not giving up on writing completely but yeah, just fun fact about me. And this green one has more of an up close and personal fairy graphic. I don't know, guys. I just loved, loved those. So I went ahead and picked those up. This is a brand that I'm not super familiar with. I've heard of it, but it's called Gypsies and Moon Dust. But I picked this up primarily for one, it was half off, and for two, and the main reason the style i just thought this piece was so gorgeous it has this like burgundy um velvet and that cutout pattern and it's just so beautiful and has like this high neck to it and then in the back it just has like this cutout i don't know i just thought that was absolutely gorgeous so i picked that up this one was also half off it's by a the brand BCBG Generation, which I don't pick up every time. I, it's been hit or miss for me, but I did pick up this piece um, because it just is the perfect spring dress. And if I can figure it out, and it's so colorful. It has these ruffle details, this high neck. It's super lightweight and flowy and just so pretty. And yeah, definitely, definitely perfect for spring. Then we have Maeve by Anthropology. This one was also half off and so I paid about $3.50 for it and it's just a nice blue and white top. It has like this v-neck going on with it. It's just a really nice top so I do well with that brand. I figured why not pick that up. Then we have Rockin' Republic which I know some people don't pick this brand up all that often but I do, especially at the bins, especially when it's cheap. I don't pick it up or pay up for it or anything, but it is a brand that does well for me. And yeah, I know it's sold at um, Kohl's, but I just liked this piece a lot. And on the back, it has like this strappy detail going on. I sell a lot of this brand, usually in that $15 mark, but it's a very quick flip typically. So I went ahead and grabbed it. Then we have this blue and gray sweater, also half off. Just a nice basic pink sweater. It's very lightweight. It feels like linen-y a little bit, 
So it's probably like a linen cotton blend. I'll check that when I list it, but just a really nice high quality piece. Then we have one of the most exciting finds. This one was not half off, but it's Elvis and it has Elvis all over. Like it's such a big graphic and I absolutely love it. And it has this like summer Hawaiian print all over it. It's just absolutely incredible. And I know that one's going to be a quick flip because people love, love their Elvis. Lastly, I got a pair of shoes and this one I debated on. They do have some wear on them and I almost bought them like a few days prior to coming in during like their tag change day. Um, and I'm glad I didn't because I think $8 would have been a little bit too much for them in the condition that they're in. But then I went on the day that the color tag changed and they were half off. So I went ahead and grabbed them. They're a pair of Jeffrey Campbell uh loafers and they're like a golden um crocodile print and they do have some wear as you can see by the toes but they also have like this studded detail i just thought these were so so cool and they were four dollars and i have never found jeffrey campbell before you know i see other resellers find it all the time but i've never actually seen it in the wild so i was really excited to pick these up especially for four bucks so yeah I was really happy about those so those were all of the items that i found on this day of thrifting and i really hope you guys enjoy this video and i really hope you like this style of video where i take you around in the thrift store with me it can definitely be a little scary at times when people are like staring at you wondering why you're filming yourself going through clothes but it is a lot of fun and i really enjoy it so i really hope you guys enjoy this video and i will see you in my next one Bye guys. Last a little longer. Do you remember when we were much better? I wish we could go back to when we went singing in the rain. We won't fight. We'll be swinging from street lights. I wish we could go back to when we.